Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel or welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Liz and this is Let's Get Lizical where we do everything card making. Um, and today we are going to continue my use it or lose it series. I have gone through all my stamp sets and realized that I have about, you know, 36 items here that I've never used. Some of them purchased a year ago, some of them were gift with purchases. Um, some of them were purchased recently, especially the Hello Bluebird sets. Uh, so I am going to try to start using these because I did buy them for a purpose. I have these separated into like everyday things and then I have holidays. So like Halloween and then Christmas items are here. So you'll probably see these during my holiday card series. Halloween during my Get Creeping on Halloween and again Halloween cards everyday items. I'm going to use one today. I've decided to use this Hello Bluebird Sea Life set. Um, it's probably sold out by now. If it's still available, I'll link it, but Hello Bluebird has moved on to a different um, structure. So they're moving to monthly card kits that are going to be like single release only. It's not something they're going to be keeping in stock. I think a few of the items they might they do have a few extras but i'm not sure if those are also once they're gone they're gone probably um it's a lot easier for them that way um and then you know it kind of actually it's a smart decision in a sense because it drums up like hey this is the only time you're going to be available to get this so you have to get it now or you know forever hold your peace which is why i ordered so much of it when they went on sale i think i got like 10 different sets between stamps and a couple of dies and normally I didn't order from Hello Bluebird just because the shipping was like rid ridiculously expensive coming into Canada so I kind of like avoided it but I do love their sets they are adorable like I got a few of these like the deer uh Hello Bluebird uh word buddies and then the word buddies woodland ones which are super cute and then i got a bunch of other ones um yeah so today i'm going to be working on a set with the sea life one and then you'll see these later um so i was scrolling through pinterest the other day and saw this photo and i'm going to try to recreate the background i think the background was done with um alcohol markers but I'm going to be doing it with ink and doing kind of like a color lifting technique with water because I'm going to be using Simon's positively saturated inks which are water reactive so we're going to give this a try and see how that goes and I will move to my regular voiceover now. Hey guys voiceover Liz here so this is actually my third time doing this because I messed up the first panel the first card I made, I completely forgot to press record. So this is number th like three and I'm doing it a little bit differently. I am going to show you the other card that I made at the end. Um, I used all the same techniques I'm using right now, um, just different colors and a few different images, but um, yeah, this is not my day today. <laughs> Um, but what I'm doing is I'm ink blending a background. I kind of like masked off the bottom of the card a bit. I see this kind of layout on MFT's uh, site all the time and I have wanted to try it for a while. Originally I was going to ink blend some sand at the bottom, but um, I decided to leave that part out. And what I did was I used Simon's Positively Saturated inks in I think Surf and Ocean. They're like the tealy colors. And what I'm doing is I'm just painting with water right now and I'm just like painting some like wavy lines to kind of mimic that card I showed a bit earlier. Um, it's not a, like exact or anything. This is probably closer to those wavy line stencils that you can get. Um, but I thought it looked pretty good when it was finished. So um, it's quick and simple and easy. This is something you could do with your kids too or your grandchildren. Just kind of like ink blend a background, let them play with water. You know, it's mess free. They can do whatever they want. Just do them a bunch of panels if you want. A good activity for a rainy day. Um, but yeah, so I decided on this card also to add a bit of acrylic paint in white just to add a little bit more texture. 
So first I painted the lines, then I um, splattered on some water for some texture, and then I splattered on some acrylic paint, just like the dollar store paints are fine. I have a bottle in white and black that I use for splatter, and they seem to work pretty well. And right now I am going to uh, stamp and color my images. The first card I did did have the dolphin in it and decided to do this one a bit different, so I'm doing it as the whale. The other images will stay the same, and I added those two little fish. They were not included in the first card. But for now, I'm just going to play some music while you guys watch me color, and I will return when it's done. Okay, so now that that's done, I've gone and cut them on my scan and cut, and I will be placing them on the card now. Um, I like the way that I laid out the whale here where it kind of breaks the barrier. Um, I like to do that on a lot of my cards, and it just, you know, I don't know, it adds a little bit to it instead of it all being contained in the colored area. And then I decided to prop up a few of the images on some foam tape. So I will be doing the whale and the little green fish, whatever kind of fish that is. Um, this card, I decided to keep the images a little bit more on the pastel side, whereas the other ones I did a bit more bold colors, uh, which again, you'll see at the end of this video. But um, yeah, right now I'm just laying out my images. And then once that's done, I am going to add the sentiment, and that is from an MFT set because this stamp set does not have any sentiments with it, which is unfortunate. I always like kind of hate it when stamp sets don't come with sentiments, um, just because I like to have those coordinating ones and then I have to go find them in other sets that I have, which is fine, but at the same time, like, I think when you're doing a stamp set, you should also include at least, you know, a couple of sentiments and maybe, you know, omit some of the images. But that's just my opinion. <laughs> um, so when I do stamp sets, I will be doing images and sentiments together for sure. And if I don't, I will definitely do like two sets that go together. So I will do all images and then like maybe an all sentiment set that would coordinate with it, which means you do have to buy two, but um, it allows me to get more images and more sentiments out of it. Um, so yeah, I'll be probably doing that in the future. Um, I do have a set that I will be introducing very soon, guys. I'm super excited for it. Um, and I have other sentiments that I've kind of thought of afterwards. So I might do like a coordinating just sentiment set for it next year, maybe adding a few images to it as well, but we'll see. Um, but anyway, I'm going to be using this uh, You Whaled It uh, stamp from MFT's Friends with Fins, I think it's called. I'm not sure if it's still available. If it is, I will definitely link it down below. But uh, if it's not, I'll try to find something similar. And now I'm going to add like some of these like clear pearls. I think these are from Studio Katya, which is again, no longer in business. So if I can find them elsewhere, I will link those down below. Um, the larger ones were a little discolored. So I ended up throwing them all out, sorting out the smaller ones. And I'm just using the smaller ones right now. But that's pretty much our card for today, guys. 
Thanks again for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. I'd love to have you guys here. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future content. I have a fun video coming out next week. And it's a collab with a very well-known YouTuber. So stay tuned for that. And until next time, thanks. Bye.